The following topic has to do with a recent case of the murder of five Denver citizens and the video manifesto their murderer left behind. If you're not comfortable with this sort of topic, I'd advise you to leave this video. With that out of the way, let's actually talk about the subject at hand, that being that of, well, as of this recording, Gumroad is still seemingly getting away with profiting off of what seems to be a murderer's manifesto. I'll try to present this video as tastefully as possible without mentioning victim names and the murderer's identity. However, I will be mentioning the name of the movie he left behind to get as much attention to the fact that Gumroad has not acted in any way to remove the movie. I understand this is a double-edged sword that will bring it more attention than I'm sure the murderer wanted, but it's the only way for this problem to get any sort of attention at all and hopefully gets resolved. The incident occurred in 2021 in Denver, when a man dressed in what appeared to be some sort of officer uniform murdered five victims in a shooting rampage and injuring two others, one being an officer that was successful in killing the murderer just before she went down. This shook the town where the murderer took place, and unfortunately, just about a month and a half later, a film featuring the murderer himself was suddenly uploaded on Gumroad. The film is called War Horse, and it is essentially a 40 minute manifesto where the killer glorifies his revenge plot and fantasizes about killing his victims, many of which were included in the film, some mentioned over 100 times. In fact, the film states that his real goal was to kill 40 people, but thankfully he was stopped just before he could have attempted to do so. The movie also features a few shots that actually show him wearing the same uniform he went out to kill these five people. At this point, it's unknown how the video was made or who edited it, most likely the murderer himself, but it is known that currently the uploader is both an ex-girlfriend of the murderer, who is now known only as Anne, and a friend of the murderer who had warned the police about a year earlier about suspicions of his deteriorating mental state. The police, of course, did not listen at the time. The film was given to Anne via mail containing an SD card and a note stating that she could profit off the movie. According to the murderer's friend named Amanda Knight, she says she realizes the movie is controversial, but is selling it anyways so that the victims of the murder and former friends of the murderer could recoup their losses and hopefully pay off any sort of trauma they had endured. As is said in the video's page on Gumroad, the proceeds will be going to the victims. Though as good-natured as that may be, there are a few problems with this statement. Firstly, friends of the victims don't really want this video up at all and have demanded it being taken down. Brian Box Brown was contacted by one of the victim's friends on Instagram via DM about how Gumroad was profiting off of the movie, and despite what she and the other families of the victims have told Gumroad, they still won't answer their emails, stating that they've been blocked from contacting them, and that Gumroad is still allowing sales, despite the fact that this breaks their terms of services. Gumroad literally has a page called Things Not Allowed on Gumroad, and in one of the examples, they use threaten any individual or incite violence. Obviously, these are very specific examples. They're not all of the rules. But if we were to take a murderer's manifesto as inciting violence or threatening any individual people, then yes, this breaks the terms of service, yet somehow it's not taken down or taken care of. Not only that, but the claim that this money is going directly to the victims is most likely not true. It could be someone just making money and profiting off of a terrible event, despite not caring about the repercussions. The issue with this film, despite it not actually showing anything graphic or criminal, is that this film itself could grow a cult following and could potentially inspire copycat murderers. Remember. Back when the Columbine shootings occurred, many people idolized the two school shooters, and several shootings afterwards were directly correlated or inspired by the Columbine shootings. This film could inspire other would-be killers. And remember, there was an intent by the murderer to kill 35 other victims. The fact that many of those names show up in the film puts those people at risk. What's more is that I actually gave this movie about a week to be taken down. I honestly wanted to cover this about a week ago, but I figured that even though Gumroad is a piece of shit website, I'd figured that they'd at least take it down within the week that it was mentioned. However, 
the situation has escalated rather quickly, as according to Brian Box Brown, the UK Secret Service is now currently investigating the matter. Not really sure why the UK Secret Service is involved with Gumroad, being that it's an American-based website and the incident did happen in America, but despite that, the page still remains intact. Again, I want to make clear that the purpose of this video is to make sure everyone knows that this is currently floating around, and the fact that Gumroad actively refuses to speak to the victim's families or just take it down in general is repulsive. I understand that giving it attention is exactly what the murderer wanted, but I have a shred of faith left that the video will be taken down if enough attention is given to it, though part of me believes it just won't. If they haven't done so now, then they won't do so later. I'm also aware that speaking about the video itself will make it easier to find what the incident was and who the victims were. And it is here that I respectfully ask you to please leave the victims' families alone and please don't contact them. I also wish for everyone to not harass the uploaders nor contact them in any way, shape, or form. I cannot say if their intent is done with malice or with genuine goodwill albeit naive. Either way, I would rather nobody actually contact anyone involved in this entire incident. Right now, the ball is in Gumroad's court. If this film remains up, then they are actively making money from a murderer and his manifesto. And if they take it down, then that's great, but it shows that they've lacked any sort of empathy towards the families, even after several days of being told to take it down. Hopefully, they'll do the right thing and take down the video immediately. And hopefully the damage hasn't already been done. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'll see you all next time. Love you all so much. Goodbye.